Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you the tutorial of Kodi. So remember when you first launch Kodi, when it comes up to the screen that you'll see right now, you need to wait about three to five minutes. Just walk away, get you something to drink. That way, you these are called Enterprise Edition, so these have a lot of updates and stuff coming into them when you first launch Kodi. And we're going to go over the Networks tab and show you guys the best thing for TV shows and movies and uh, everything like that. So, as you can see, they've got categories here under Movies, TV Shows, Music, Kids, there's a Triple X section. Underneath of these is what we call Subcategories. So the best three things that if you're ever going to search for a movie or a TV show, Covenant Exodus, Elysium, and then also Specto. All these other things you can try out, by all means. I have people that contact me all the time and tell me, hey, this is works really great. You need to check this out. And the same thing for the TV shows. You got the Covenant Exodus, the Elysium, and Specto underneath there. Um, those are just what I've always seen to always go to and that always, always works flawlessly. So it's very easy to use, very simple. You can start by genre, year what's in the theaters, new movies, you can go down and do a people search or just search by the movie that you want. And I promise you, you'll be able to find anything that you want. So we'll just go ahead and click on the theaters. That way I can show you a couple things here. When this wheel is spinning, don't forget, do not get impatient. Don't click your enter button. Just wait. Let it do what it's supposed to do. This, These fire sticks only have about a gig worth of RAM in them. And if you're doing too much, Cody will lock up and kick you out and you have to restart everything over. You simply are just going to go through and figure out what movie it is that you want to watch. You know, it's very, very nice, nice little layout. Um, I'm going to show you a little something. Depending on your internet, if you're on the West Coast and you have like straight fiber connection, 100 megs down or something, you know, you can click on the 1080p versions. But I'm going to tell you, anyone that's got Spectrum or AT&T, don't do this. This right here basically is just going out there. Always let this run. Always let it go down and find all the providers that it can because it's pulling as many options for you as possible for whatever's out there on the internet so you can watch these movies. Now here in a second you're going to see it pop up and you're going to see it say usually it'll default to the best quality up top. You're going to look at see where it says 1080p right there. You want to go down below to where it either says HD or to where it doesn't say 1080p, so the next in line. And if something doesn't work, that that server's gone, it will automatically default to the next one. If you ever get a message that says, you know, verification or subscription needed, just hit your enter button once, and you're good to go. Now remember, whenever you're done watching a movie, or to say you simply just don't want to watch a movie anymore, or a live TV show, click the three-line bar button on your remote, and that's going to bring up that thing that was down at the bottom. You want to click stop, and then you can hit the back button and go back. TV shows, exactly same. You got more. It's got YouTube stuff, Latino stuff. Bob Unleashed is underneath there. Under the networks, it's pretty cool. So if you know that you like things on a certain TV channel or Netflix, uh, an original that's on Netflix or Hulu, you simply just go over and click what it is, and then you find the show that you want. Live TV is a lot of really cool things. Um, C Cloud TV, I love a lot. It works very well. You go underneath the the English channels, or you can go to the top ten. There's a lot of really cool 24/7 channels that you can go through, uh, and you simply just will go down to ESPN. Um, that's a pretty popular channel. A lot of people watch. You simply just click on it, give it a second to load, and it'll load up. Now on your, oh, let's see, on this will always be live. So whatever is going on live, sorry, my phone is just blowing up right now. Um, you can always remember, always hit the stop button if you're going to go back and you want to go to something else. Goodfellas, you want to go to, there's other live TV options through there. Every once in a while, you got to understand these servers will go down. You can go up here to free TV channels. This might switch on you every once in a while like this, but go to free TV channels and you can go to USA. If you want news or anything like that, you're going to click news channels and you can search by state. It's very cool, very legit, and we'll just go ahead and go down to Ohio since I live in Ohio, and it'll show you all the Ohio news stations that are currently live as we speak. And then you just click whatever you want. There's no commercials, so if there's taking a commercial break or anything like that, they are simply just going to have a, a background uh, up in the back 
Remember, don't get impatient when this thing is spinning. It's doing what it needs to do. Just like that. There's a background there. So they're on a commercial break right now. As soon as it comes back off the commercial, it goes live right back onto your TV. Very cool. Very cool. There's a lot more things that you can check out. Sports, under whatever category of sport that you want, there's a lot of things that these things have to offer. So just play with these. You can find live sports and everything like that right there where it says NFL games. Usually if there's something going on or under the live football, there's something going on. It'll be listed for you, but there's no games tonight, and I'll show you that it's probably not going to list anything. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of sports, a lot of pay-per-views, those will be free. You have to understand the live TV stuff does come down. It does, you know, there's people out there that are getting in trouble with their servers being on the internet and stuff and stuff like that. Nothing you can get in trouble for, but they're being taken down and they have to come back up and stuff like that. Castaway, DC Sports, and then also uh, UK Turk are also good for other sport options. So you're just going to have to play with those. Ben uses the old Phoenix. There's a lot of really cool things underneath of there. Bob Unleash has a lot of cool things. Quantum. I'm not really familiar with. I hear a lot of people really like the things that they have to offer. It's just, you just have to figure this out a little bit yourself, you know. Just because I like something doesn't mean that you'll like something. UK Turk has C Cloud TV and Turkish TV. Her place is everything all women related. Cooking shows, makeup tutorials, fashion stuff, um, you know, Nicholas Spark movies, Lifetime, Hallmark, all that. And then for the guys or even the girls, you have the triple X section that you can go through a lot of porn that's involved. Never touch the tools, the system, or the power. The, there's a kids section, and there's a music section. Uh, the kids has every Disney movie you could ever want, or any cartoon you could ever want. The music section has car concerts, MP3 streams, and everything like that. So I hope that this tutorial has actually helped you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will gladly get back to it. YouTube's like my main job, so I'm always checking YouTube. Just let me know what you need. And I'll try to get with you. Now, just understand that your stick does need updated every once in a while. And you'll know when that happens because things just simply will not work. It'll say no stream available or, you know, that for everything. Live TV, searching for movies, and all that. So don't freak out. If you need to, you can comment. I'll tell you if there's an update. All previous customers get half-off updates. All right, guys. Have a good day.